Hey everybody, and welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is my Gijo Assault Protector. Look at that, so we have a very unique looking clones over here. Phase 1, which I'm always happy to see. Phase 1 clones do not get enough love. Even though I do agree that the Phase 2 do look cooler. I, uh, I still absolutely love the design of the Phase 1. So, as you can see, a little bit of a simple map design. Um, well, on, actually, on first hands it's simple, but it's a little bit more intriguing than that. It's a snowy planet. First of all, it's my Guido, and not in the sense that we know it from the movies. But, of course, what we see, actually see in uh, the third movie is only a small section. Immediately, the map splits up in two, uh, two areas. Most of the units actually went right through the force. The force looks a little bit simple. But you can see that in the middle, there is a base or a facility inside this little hill. The command post is under Republic control. Where indeed there is a separate command post. I assume that they use... Yep. They use some Hoth cave systems. Republic is in control of a Though, post. Hostile reinforcements are being depleted. I do think that that is new, or at least not in the vanilla one. Or it might be a lighting thing. It goes for an approach that we have seen in uh, oh God, in the past as well, where oh, where there's an open battlefield, and in the middle there is a smaller cave-like system for close quarter combat. The real difference here is that that section with the close quarter combat is in the middle of the map, rather than, for example, at the side. On the open field, there are four spawn points, and then the fifth one is in the middle. Going for that classic number. We've already saw that there's vehicles. But other than that, I do have to say that the uh, the area outside looks a bit boring. Could you could have used a bit more detail, and especially for example with this forest, right? Um, that's all. That's all fun and all. And what I'm going to say now might be very difficult to achieve. Especially because the aesthetic of this forest demands a certain type of tree. But if you were made to make a forest, um, don't use the same two or like three like tree models the whole time, but try to change it up a little bit. These might actually be all the same. Uh, add a little bit of variety in there different types of trees and then it'll already look a lot better. I do like what's going on in the sky. It's a bit of a shame that that's not part of the actual battle. Actually, it's so far away that the engine is not loaded properly. This is also another good example of what I have addressed in previous videos as well, to where um, in order to make spawn points interesting uh, as a map creator, I would advise to make them like look unique uh, in terms of like some objects or props that you use around it. Like this is just a random spawn point in the middle of nowhere. There are no objects, there's not even like crates or some cover or something. Like making a spawn point there makes a bit more sense. Still it would be a bit too simple in my taste, but it's just, it's not very uh, very impressive. Like, you can already see that having a spawn point here, it's at the entrance of the tunnel. Again, you don't necessarily need objects, but it's also location-wise that makes sense. Okay, we're recapturing this. And then, oh, look at that, they captured the south. That's another command post under Republic control. They're losing reinforcements. Keep it up. There we go. Oh, Grievous, what a boy. Oh, I'm gonna die. Although I'm leaving, the force will be with you always. Let's see what we got. It seems like the regular one is the only one with like a new uh, color scheme. Bit of a shame. 
I do really like the color though. It's really dangerous too. You don't actually see too many um, snow maps that uh, like have something really unique about them, except when they are on Renvar, because of course the whole thing with Renvar is that it all revolves around like the temple area. But for example, were you to have a uh, half map that tried to replicate uh, the scene from the movie, the battle? just an open open area and the interesting part needs to come from uh, the fact that there are all these units on there ATSTs ATATs I don't know I think um, it, like again what this offers is open area and even at the open area you can actually see that some of the AI got stuck with some of the trees if you're player controlled, uh, that would not be an issue. But even the battlefield itself uh, in a vehicle would not be interesting to the point where you would get a whole lot of fun out of it. <clears throat> Again, if you want a battle that offers both open field warfare and close quarter combat in the same map, there are better alternatives. Including, for example, Elzok 3. Imperial base Excel. Whoops! He uh, was standing right in front of me. If I gotta say something good about it, it's that uh, it's pretty well playable with AI. See, the problem now that you're, of course, also <coughs> going to get with me doing more and more. <coughs> excuse me. More and more maps. Or map reviews. Is that I'm starting to recognize some tricks. And like I said, I will, for example, say, okay, well, there's a better alternative out there. Now, that doesn't mean that this map doesn't work. It's very well playable. The clones are a nice touch. It's just, again, it's, it's, it's not super interesting. Especially with some of the things, of course, we've seen done. Oh. Well, that didn't work very well. Look at that, they're actually pushing back. It's interesting too that the right side of the uh, facility is completely straight, meaning that snipers and stuff can do a real damage point on, the, on those that are holding the, the capture point. Now I'm heading over here. They have less than 300. Well, they have a snail tank at least. They have multiple vehicles. That's a good thing. I thought for a moment that they only had uh, an AT, AT, uh, not AT, AT, an AAT, but they actually have two. I think on the clone side they only have the TX-130. It's so bright too. I, I barely see my lightsaber. The command post is under republic control. But I think also that's because I have bloom Although on. I'm leaving. The force will be with you always. Command post under attack. I mean, you can see what I'm talking about where it's it's very well playable with AI. The moment like you capture something, they immediately start pushing their agenda towards a, a different one. I haven't seen any of the AI get stuck.
We should actually head towards that base to the south. Just see how they uh, took that over. And it's, of course, difficult to, for example, if you have a force area, is how you make that more believable or better to look at by using props. Because it's like, well, there are, it's a forest, so there's just a lot of trees. But maybe use some shrubbery. And understand, too, that, of course, this is a snow planet, so there wouldn't be, like, a lot of, like, green bushes or something. But we have, of course, also seen... Uh, maps where there's a little bit of like yellowish or like dry grass. You can you can use stuff like that. Ooh, I took that right to the face. The command post is now under hostile control. Our reinforcements are being depleted. I think they're actually pushing their agenda. Whoever controls this actually has a huge advantage because they can send troops left and right at the same time. These ones, not so much. Well, they can actually send it in the middle. I want, I'm going to capture the right side first, and then I'm going to try and get the point on the right. Ooh, I killed a clone there. Our second wave of troops is being depleted. Feel the force. That droidic is going to be a problem. I think this is also a map that could have benefited a little bit from uh, using some flying vehicles. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. They wouldn't really do a whole lot of ground support though. Other trees probably will block off a lot of like blasters and rockets. But, one thing that you can for example also do is just make it more interesting by, you know, having it feeling more like a total battlefield. Ugh. Now I want you to go forward. Ooh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a good shot. See, the moment I take the second outpost, they all they also take one of theirs. It's really quite, impre uh, quite impressive. And again, that's a good thing. That means it's quite well balanced in terms of uh, one offers. Again, <coughs> there's nothing wrong <coughs> with, with with the gameplay experience. It's just not all that you know. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not very surprising. It's a bit vanilla. Uh, vanilla can be fine, but sometimes you want something more exotic. Maybe with some fruit sprinkles on top. Oh, jeez. Hi there. Is that a turret? I'm not here. That was problematic. Now at least we have a point to, to, to capture. I do always love to uh, to head into like facilities or close quarter areas and try to recapture a point, or actually just capture. Just because it offers the uh, more traditional ego shooter type gameplay. No, actually ego shooters there is, a, is the wrong word. So I also usually don't like ego shooters, but your more traditional first-person shooter single-player experience Accompanied by AI of course Okay, yeah grief as you go over there You can actually see it in the score too that it's quite well balanced. Oh Jeez He came back. He was like I'm not letting you have this control point 
And ho LB1 says, hello there. Then I will take it. Don't shoot a rocket at me, clone. You can do so much damage in a short uh, time span. Ooh. Oh, destroy droid. I always love it when they say destroy droid. I think I said this in a previous video too, but I sometimes get slack if I call them destroy droids. Because and then people say, they're actually called droidicals. I was like, no, their official name is destroy droid. Oh, well, there we have an answer to if they only have TX-130s, the answer is no. We are getting close to the point where they will not receive reinforcements. Oh my god, look at them all. will be with you always okay um let's see if we can get into something here is there a vehicle available where are you heading nothing at all it's a bit boring must be actually loose in the battlefield oh there we go Oh my god, come on. I'm too close. Twenty two left. Probably like ATRTs would also work here. Smaller vehicles. And you're actually quite vulnerable on the ATRT. I think uh, using like vehicle. Oh jeez. Like using an ATRT in a, in, a, in a map is actually a safe bet to where you can add vehicles but not make them too overpowered. Because. An ATRT itself is not actually that powerful, and again, you get shot off it quite fast. But it might actually be on the left side. Hostile reinforcements are being depleted. Oh my God! Okay. The Republic is in control of a command post. They're losing reinforcements. Yeah, they're probably Keep left, or they might be stuck. Here's one. Oh, in the middle. Interesting. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, it was a snail tank. Lovely. A command post is under Republic control. Enemy reinforcements are decreasing. Anyway, we're about to end this. If you want to Oh, it's Grievous! If you want to check out this map for yourself, you can find the link to download this map in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests that you have for certain mods or maps that you want to see on the channel. Another command post for the Republic. Hostile reinforcements are being depleted. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.